Hi, this is Joy with the Keystone Cottage, the Cobb Chick. I'm going to talk to you a little bit today about your stem wall. Number one, how to get it done right the first time. Okay, and then I'm going to talk about how to maintain it to make it look better. So right now, we don't have a roof. We see the trees. <laughs> um, so with all of that, um, we do have some rain splash up and with the clay and all that stuff it just gets the stem wall dirty on the inside and the outside for that matter so i like to go around with a broom and clean it off i'm going to go ahead and start what i'm doing and tell you about it as i go all right so right here um there's a lot more detail to the stem wall um so i wanted to be clear i'm not going to go into everything but if you'll notice there are a few flaws in my stem wall right here right here there's a few little like bubble type things this is because the plywood that I chose for my stem wall, I guess, was crap. So that's very important. If you want a nice, smooth, pretty finish stem wall, get yourself some nice plywood as your mold. Okay? Also, right here, this is due to air bubbles in the concrete when it was being done. So you can do it yourself or you can hire someone to do it. Um, there are different tips and tricks for relieving air bubbles in the concrete, but I would say make sure. So it looks like um, they did a great job up to right here. From here up, they did not. So the, I guess they just didn't go around again and get all the air bubbles out. Um, but that's just my thoughts on that. Um, not a big deal necessarily. You can put um, like plate boards over it. You can cover it all up. It just depends on what you want. But I figure I would throw in my two cents there as far as everything is concerned. Um, right here, I do hope that you can see this right here. So here's some of the dirt that I have as a splash up onto my cottage. So I like to take the bottom of a broom and sometimes something even thicker like a scrub brush um, with the handle on top. Um, that gets really good as far as the bottom. But just basic um, cleaning maintenance is take the broom and go back and forth. And you gotta go really, really hard, okay? You can't just lightly fluff it because you want to get in those pores really, really good and get that dirt off of there. Now see the bottom here? We got about the bottom, let's say four inches where that stuff's on there pretty good. So that's where that real thick brush is very, very handy. I think I'm gonna substitute this piece right now. Okay, all right, give you a close-up of some of that. All right, so if you'll notice over here where we didn't do, it's darker right there. So actually here's where I started doing as a demo before I started the video. And then right here is where I did now when we've cleaned the bottom. So right, and then there's where it still needs to be done. See the buildup we got and then the dirt splash up, all right, or runoff, because uh, we do our best to cover the walls up above, um, but still rain can get on it. All right, so that's just a little bit of tidbits, tips, and tricks on my end as far as the stem wall is concerned. But thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Please hit like, subscribe, comment below, and let me know more of what you want to see. All right, thanks. Bye.